look at the in-game scoreboard we'll see who the players are for ukyb it is beat graden and unfriable apples up against arrow landon and world for crenshaw crew graden trying to take a quick shot at net denied by landon it's off the top crossbar but going over into the corner world trying to center it up for his teammate over to get a clear out and not gonna quite work out but he is going to be allowed to maintain possession and just going to carry it straight into that net nobody able to get back in time and get in i believe that's because the camera wasn't blessing us but arrow was running some defense over towards that net trying to get a demo on that player but unfortunately he was unable to regardless the goal goes through 19 seconds in we already see the first goal on the board for the crenshaw crew and and then trying to get this out over towards mid arrow looking to see if he can get this over towards the wall but um friable apple is going to take an early engagement and he falls off world trying to pressure up but unfortunately graden takes the ball and now going to send it across to the other side of the pitch beat getting demoed opens up this goal for a quick shot and what a tight angle coming out from land in there just sliding it straight into the goal straight over from that corner let's watch it one more time very nicely played from him a delayed flick just to slide it right in there and just like that we have a two goal lead on the board 46 seconds gone and ball gonna find its way over towards mid oh arrow just narrowly missing in world whether it's a fake or a narrow miss that is going to leave the ball hurtling over towards that orange net and a slight crack in the armor begins to show as unfriable apples is allowed to score the first of two that they need to get this back up but it is a two to one score line still and crenshaw crew looking to get back into this great actually saying that one of their players are dc'd at one point i didn't actually catch that in the chat but unlucky there for them that is just how the tech issues go and now beat trying to slide in that second goal arrow going to be looking to play this out of the corner and lines up against apples but ends up getting it back over to landon with a boom down the field arrow wants to play it out leaves it over for world beat trying to clear away unable to and uh, arrow going to center it straight up from landon with a beautiful little demo and just a wide uncontested goal after that and right now the crenshaw crew looking fierce on this aggression the bumps, the demos, and the passes all connecting right now, and they take their two-goal lead back. A mistake gotten rid of. And basically resetting the score to what it was. Apples trying just to last second adjust that one in from the air. Not going to be able to do it, and it's going to be a forced save out of Landon, and he's able to get up in time. Very nicely done. And now back over to him as World bumping away that one aggressor, but it's going to be Arrow having to clear this. Goes over him, but with no aggressors, it's easy just to let this float to the corner. World now to play it away, getting bumped by the first, and it's Landon forced to hit it over that second aggressor. It's back over towards mid. Apple's taking the fight. It's back over to Beat, who does manage to maintain possession, but he has World hot on his tail and gets a narrow little touch on that car as the ball going to be forced into a 50 here arrow looking to play this back over into the blue and it is actually going to float down gently over to world who gets it back to land and a nice adjustment from him and they're looking to play it high not going to be able to do it initially over on the orange but it's just a back and forth affair fighting for possession and 350s have left this ball hurtling towards the ground and once again a counter-attack begun and stopped landed phenomenal defense back on the line beat trying to slide one in but it just finds the crossbar and now it is a boom back downfield we find ourselves six seconds over the halftime mark and it is just back and forth offense but nobody from the blue has been able to find a second goal since they have capitalized on that mistake earlier on in the first minute and apples trying to line up something here ends up leaving it for the teammates Graydon trying to set this up for himself but unfortunately with no boost he's forced off of it and now just trying to see if he can do anything in that back line while he hunts for some boost and apples does manage to lob this back over towards net but 
Whirl gonna get there just in time and slides it back over into the blue. Landon wants to center this up. Gets a bump on the beat, but it's not enough to force him off the ball. It's over to this left wall where Whirl now gonna meet in a 50 against Graydon. It's lobbing back over towards their own and a zero boost Landon has to force back into this fight. Two demos come out. Whirl and Graydon trading blows as Landon plays this back upfield beat. Trying to go high for a shot. It's just high of net and Arrow gonna deny the follow through shot. It's over off the corner. 90 seconds to go and Arrow booming this off of the ceiling it's a fast shot but it's high it's back over into the midfield and landon takes it but it's just left of goal trying to center it back up graden fighting him on it and it's going to leave this ball floating just over the midfield line where graden really does not want to allow world to take it gets it over to beat He's going to be able to get it past Arrow as well, but Landon, the last man back, is forcing that 50 back over mid. The ball going straight up into this orange corner. World takes it away, and now B wants to just try to play this over, but that bump with so low boost, he's forced to expire about 15 trying to recover, and he's not able to get himself back into that play in time. On Friable Apples, a save, but 45 seconds to go. They need to find the first of two goals, and unfortunately for UKYB, they just haven't been able to find anything Thing. The offense has been too pressurizing and too much just forcing them back over into their end world. Once again, they're just stealing the ball and not allowing any touches outside of the necessary saves. Beat going back up onto this orange wall. 22 seconds to go. Graydon stopping world in a 50, but the ball just gingerly floating back over into the orange defenders. 14 seconds to go, and unfortunately, as that time continues to tick, we have not seen this goal deficit increase or decrease, so unfortunately, it looks like UKYB, while they were able to get the first, they were not able to connect into a tied game, and just like that, Crenshaw crew steal away the first, and we'll go up 1-0. Crenshaw crew a very dominating show through the first game to score themselves a three to one win and with it the first of five or first of three sorry necessary to win this best of five the kickoff going to float this ball over along the midfield line beat to take an initial shot and he's going to be gifted with a goal. UKYB striking first in this one, taking advantage of a wide open net and beat just gonna hammer that one past Landon. Too much gold to cut too much goal to cover there. And he will not be able to block that one, but it's four minutes fifty-five to go. UKYB have struck first. Will they be able to hold their lead? Arrow wants to immediately try to play that ball. Fakes off it for World, but Apples has gone fast up to re-aggress and is able to get it away. Landon trying to hit it past. It's back over to Arrow now, who stops it along the corner, but a boom away from Apples leaves this floating over towards their net, and Beat plays it high. Apples looks to play this back out. Beat wants to center, but not going to be able to do anything in that position, and it's just going to float back over to Graydon, who has to find his way past two defenders, Ends up getting it back over to Beat, and oh, Beat with an opportunity to score high, but just can't find his way in front of the ball. And that's going to leave a 50 from Apples, forcing this ball once again into the corner, Landon to play away. Trying to center this up for World, who sets up, but with limited boost, he has to wait there for a minute, and the blue side players had already locked off his angle. So Graydon, now to play this away, Landon is going to read out and manages to get a double touch off the corner to try to center this up. 
but Apple's playing patiently, allows his teammate to play up and just aggresses late. World not able to get the demo there onto the aggressor, but it is going to leave Beat here with the ball, but no real way to play it out. Grave wants to come up here, see if he can get a center going, but Arrow dribbling it straight past him, a potential shot on net, and it has to be saved from Beat. A very nice play from Arrow just to turn the counterattack immediately into the blue and a team side rule one. <laughs> Coming out of the men in blue, I, they did break it. They looked a little skeptical about whether or not they should, but it did get broken. Does that mean they score or get scored on? Only time will tell. But the ball finds its way into the orange possession once again. Graydon going high, wants to get a ceiling shot going, but Landon, good job keeping that ball straight on his hood and not allowing anybody to sneak it past him. 20 seconds, or sorry, 20 boosts left and beats tank and he has to expire all of it it's back over here to Graydon who wants to center it back down towards goal apples to play this back over arrow managing to get a double touch in that position and get it past two aggressors and landing in a steal it past the third so Graydon forced back into this play and they are just balling past them right now from the orange and that goal just barely missed to the right world looking to play this out the 50 this time winning in the blues favor and he's actually going to be able to center it over but arrow fast to the ball it's back over to apples tries to play this off and get it quick to beat who does hit a lob back towards net but there's just no realistic way with that much boost for Graydon to get back up into the fight and that will leave this ball floating mid Graydon a boom down field it's over to the left of goal and we do find ourselves with only two minutes left on the clock. World demoing one of the aggressors, but Graydon finds his way in front of the net. And let's watch this one more time because they did take out an aggressor here in the corner, but Arrow tries to go up to save that. Landon had already tried to save it as well. Ends up hitting it off of Landon who had already committed to the jump. And it is just unfortunate for the Crenshaw crew as Graydon strikes another one across the line. Two minutes to play with still. And World is going to be able to center this one up, but Arrow can't quite find the angle in time. It's going to be back over to Apples, who booms it back downfield. Landon stopping it. It's actually going to float straight over, but just left of net. World wants to center it. We'll hit it back over towards mid, and Apples managing to get his touch on it just barely before that shot comes through. It's Beat looking to play this back up, rolling over towards Ned and World, a quick boom downfield. Apples has to play it to the corner. He will, and now they're just looking to deny any sort of center. Apples yet another touch out, and Beat wants to now just play it out of his end. Landon just barely missing that connection, and Arrow has to try to save up here, but Apples is not going to let it. Just goes high, connects onto that very well-placed pass from Beat and just slams it into that bottom right. No defenders there, no problem for the man in blue. Three to zero lead as UKYB striking back in convincing fashion. It's the Crenshaw crew trying still to find something out of this game. Another shot high over towards that net. Arrow forced to save, he will. And now it's gonna be Graydon in the corner world looking to play this out. It's going to go down over off the corner, and World now wants to play this out over towards mid, but the blue side defenders are looking just to strike in at any opportunity that that ball floats over their way. And Apples, ooh, going to get red there by Landon, but the ball still finding its way over into the orange. A quick little crossfield pass over to Graydon, denies World his possession, and... It looks like UKYB breaking out some of uh, Crenshaw Crew's own tactics against them as they're just not allowing the touches to happen. No touches, no boost, and a 3-0 deficit with only 20 seconds to go make it look like, unfortunately for the Crenshaw Crew, there might be no way out of this one. A goal would be necessary now, and one does almost find the inside of the box, but Beat clears it away. And the 20 seconds fade to 9 as we see this game closing out. And UKYB were able to bite back. They take game 2. And we will now see a an essentially best of 3 as the next game decides who goes up to match point.
We hop into game three, an exciting one to be sure, because UKYB shutting Crenshaw Crew out of game two, finding the match now tied back up at one to one. We're going to have to see who's going to be able to strike first this time, and World wants to play out here against Graydon, but catching that ball right off the ramp, it's going to go over to beat trying to hit the shot but a little too high and this ball gonna find its way straight over in front of an uncontested blue goal and world will not miss that one sinking it straight over the line finding crenshaw crew their first goal of the game here 16 seconds into the match a quick start from them and now ukyb forced onto the back wheel they're going to be looking to try and play back into this and Apples will have the opportunity to start a play over into the orange. An initial touch from World just to slow down any aggression. Ends up getting a center back over to beat, but oh my goodness, it is just not going to be able to find the net in time. Beat now looking to play this one back over towards it and actually going to be able to read out there against the defender and get a pass over to fra unfriable Apples, but it is immediate play back over into the blue. You can see just trying to find something here out of UKYB, but they haven't been able to get... They've managed to set up quite a few attacks over towards that orange net, but they just haven't been able to get that final man into the play. And Graydon tries to receive that pass off his teammate, just ends up getting it over to World, and a boom downfield does manage to give just the space they need to replay this. Apples can't find the follow-up shot, but does manage to set it up for Beat, who wants to play this over, but just hitting that ball a little high forces Graydon to have to go into the corner to chase, and the ball going to be sent once again high, this time over towards the blue net. Beat plays it away. It's over towards this right orange corner, and going to be played off of here, but Landon hitting it back over downfield. Graydon does not want to give up this aggression, lobbing it back over towards net, but with no follow-up shots, the Crenshaw crew can just play back a bit, wait out, and just see where these shots lie, but Beat trying to get this going faster tries to go in there but with meager boost he is not able to get a shot on net in time ends up having to leave it for apples and not going to be able to follow up as his tank remains empty but now wants to play this out gets it over towards the back wall tries to get a double touch going but ends up getting it back over to Graydon in the corner apples following through and oh my goodness sending it just left of net now finding it over off the top and they're looking to play this back over out of their end, but the Crenshaw crew just not allowing them to take it. And finally, one hit back over into the orange, but immediately played away. Landon Demo and Gart Grain as well. And that is going to leave Beat with no boost, trapped over into the orange side corner. Grain trying to clear this away. Unfortunately, centers it back up, but Apples is there in time to hit it away. A little bit of panic showing on the cards of UKYB, and you can tell they just are getting overwhelmed by these fast, aggressive plays from the Crenshaw crew. Even though there is only a one goal difference, you can just tell the shots being a little too rushed. They need to slow it down, and they just have not been allotted the time to do that. Graydon forced yet again to make a save. It's going to be back over where Arrow was looking to steal it away, but it's going to be landed in the midfield to take the initial play. And that will be back over into the orange. So perhaps a moment to regroup. Grain wants to play this away. Knows the world's going to try something tricky. And is able to get his way back over in front of the ball. But some time expired. Beat needs to play this one away from Arrow now. And tries to go high to deny him. Does hit a bump denying the play. But the ball forced over into Graydon's hood. 100 seconds left to go. Actually quickly degrading to 90. And we still only see the one goal from Crenshaw crew on the board right now. Remind you, I believe that was a five second into the match goal that they were able to strike with. And now it has just been a back and forth affair where neither team has been able to find anything. And it's just such a back and forth affair. Once again, it, it's hard to say anything else. Back over towards mid. Beat wants to hit it down, just can't quite find the inside. You can tell the amount of defenders here make it tough, but Apples finally finds a way through the armor after numerous shots towards net Graydon hits a pass that goes directly in front of apples and he can slide it directly over that flipped car of Landon to land it into the net and now with only 101 well sorry 61 seconds left on the match we are going to see a tied game where essentially we are going into golden goal 
if these teams keep up their stellar defense it will be very difficult to break through especially when you gotta assume they're gonna tighten it even harder Landon wants to play this out, but allows World to take the initial touch, trying to deny Apples any sort of follow-up shot. Leaves it over for Arrow. It's going to bounce a little bit farther away for com from Comfort, but... Now Landon wants to center it back up. Gets a demo on to beat, but Grain able to play that one fast away. 23 seconds left in regulation. The ball floating back over towards mid, and World with a potential center up play is going to hit it bound down over towards mid, but beat wants to play this one out immediately, and oh my goodness, Landon, what a clutch save there right along the line to deny what almost certainly would have been a goal, but Graydon comes through out of nowhere and over from damn near the midfield of the orange half sinks it straight in an arrow had already been mid-air mid-flip cannot get up there in time for that and world with his back to the ball will not be able to get it in time what a fast shot to take the advantage with only two seconds to go and if they kill the ball now that will be it and it is ukyb staying alive and ripping a game away from crenshaw crew getting themselves up to match point UKYB absolutely stealing away game two right at the nick of time. And now they find themselves up two to one. Crenshaw crew going to be pissed that that one was able to slip away, trying to immediately play this into a fast goal. It's going to find its way over onto Beat's hood, where Arrow now needs to play it out. He does, trying to play a second one and actually gets that over towards Net Apples, forced to save it. An arrow, an unexpected shot, almost catching them completely off guard. 20 seconds expired. And World immediately looking just to play this back in. Beat going to center it up for him. And Landon getting pressured by Beat on the end of his flies. Not going to be able to play that one out, but World is there to do it. Hitting it back over, but Beat stealing it away again. Just getting in the way of every shot that Crenshaw Crew wants to make. And Graydon... Now looking to center this up. Beat with no boost this time. Ends up having to leave it for Apples, but an easy save for him. Dies for it. World takes him. And that's going to leave the ball over into the orange. Landon now to play this one away. Finds its way back over to Beat. Arrow now just hitting it straight over into the corner. And World definitely wants to just try to catch this off Landon's play. He will manage to keep it high. Manage to maintain this possession. and But Graydon stealing it away. Apples in the corner. Gonna grab some boost and get an initial boom downfield. Arrow going to read that out. Gets a touchdown, but Unfriable Apple's looking to score this quick. And Graydon, quick on the follow-up. Denied there by the Crenshaw crew. And Beat, going to roll it back over to Apples. And what an aggressive play there from Crenshaw. You could tell just having those cars that close to you in your line just made that defense even harder. Beat, a very good play on the wall to manage to get himself a safe pass over. And Apples manages to get it away. Beat now looking to clear it out yet again. But Arrow wants to pressure against Apples. A back pass over to Landon, which he hits into the corner. Wants to play this out immediately, but cursed by the wall gods. The ball bounces immediately down. World gets a quick lob on net, and it's just barely saved by the crossbar. Two minutes gone, and neither team allowing anything to get through right now. The strong defense is back up. 
And World finds himself the ball. Beat wants to play it away. He is actually able to adjust himself off the wall, but unfortunately for the Crenshaw crew, a double commit towards mid leaves an uncontested net and Beat able to just barely get the flick off before losing his life. Apple's a wide open net and he will not miss that one. It takes two minutes 14 to find it, but the first goal scored and it's UKYB to strike, but the ball over onto Arrow's hood. It's gonna land straight to Landon now who tries to play it over, but it's beat now to play it out of the blue end and what a strong immediate play off the kickoff from both teams, a double touch. Not gonna find the inside of the net, but finds Graydon and Landon forced to go up and save. Unfriable apples though, will make sure that they do not save that second as he comes through and with a tight shot directly down, slips it straight under, bouncing it off the top crossbar as well and sinks that one along the line to find a two goal lead. And UKYB. They fake off the kickoff initially. It gets it back over to Graydon fast, but with low boost, it's a risky play, but Apple's able to save them from catastrophe, at least for now. Beat needs to play out against World, and World actually able to win out against both defenders. A fast shot across the net. The ball immediately finds its way back over into the orange side of the pitch. And Graydon just trying to clear it past any defenders he can. World finds the ball. No boost, but he's trying to get whatever adjustments he can just to get it as far away as possible. But Landon going to be the one ultimately to send this in to the blue corner. It's over to Arrow. And now this ball lobbing straight over towards the blue net. Graydon not going to connect, but the ball floating back over into the orange side players. Landon a shot towards net, but Graydon to save. Back over to Beat who just wants to try to center it up for himself. Landon not able to get back in time for that, but Arrow is, gets it away and denies that follow through shot. They find the ball onto Arrow now and 80 seconds to go. Plenty of time to play with here, but they need to try to strike first soon and Arrow needs to try to play this away immediately. It's gonna find its way over. A hit away off of the defender and that will leave Beat with a play. They're trying to set her up for some sort of insane aerial passing play, but Apples will not find that ball floating his way as the Crenshaw crew are going to cut that play in the bud. 50 seconds to play with and you are just seeing a show of dominant aggression right now from both teams where the best defense truly might be a good offense because they are taking shot after shot. Beat gonna be bumped off the ball. Apples now to play it away. Hits the initial past arrow. Finds a shot over towards net. A double touch off. And that will leave it for Graydon as a 3-0 hat trick lead for UKYB. Leave the Crenshaw crew shell-shocked as they need to find three goals in under 35 seconds to get themselves back into this match and it might just be impossible from the firm defense we've seen but a double fake on the kickoff leaves arrow with a fast shot towards net it's denied immediately and Graydon gonna deny the follow-up as well the ball booming its way over into the orange and now Graydon just looking to set this up nobody back to receive it and that's a little bit risky because this shot could find its way into the net but it will so Arrow hammers in the first of three that they need. 12 seconds remaining. They exhausted about 21 to get that goal, but they're gifted one from the blue, and now they have to try and hit a fast kickoff here. This might be intentional from UKYB, because, hey, I mean, you know, we can give them a goal, just don't give them a kickoff. A little bit of a risky play if you go for that one, but Apples now to get it back over to beat. And it's just going to be boomed into the goal. Gray in a dominating shot. And just a fast one into that top right of goal. What a beautiful three-man passing play. Straight up to beat. Straight back down to Graydon. And a sink into the net just to get the three-goal lead back right as the match concludes. And unfortunately for the Crenshaw crew, that will do it. Uh, nobody touching the ball, so we'll get a little bit more time to play with. But they will eventually let this one drop. And UKYB finish their uncontested streak, going up 2-0. Crenshaw crew dropping down to vice versa.
what a great match we got to see on the pitch today what a dominating show of force from both teams shots left right and center the crossbar being the key hero on quite a few plays but so many great passing plays we got to see from absolutely every player in the server and but none of these players should walk out of this game feeling like they are bad this was a phenomenal game to watch and unfortunately for Crenshaw Crew, not the result they were looking for, but very nicely played from UKYB. And congratulations to them on the win. Crenshaw Crew, definitely a few things to work on, but they're definitely going to be able to look back on this, see where they went wrong, and fix themselves up in time for the remainder of the season. But thank you guys so much for coming out, watching these teams, supporting myself, both these teams, IGL as a whole. Hopefully you enjoyed, hopefully the teams enjoyed, and I hope you all have a great rest of your night. Thanks again, stay safe, see you around.